Hello everyone, Ben Flanagan from Vega Entertainment here. Uh, today we are going to show you how to use Cafe Sync in your day-to-day -day lives. Uh, I realized in some of my earlier videos that one, I was rather long-winded, and uh, second, I really didn't explain very well how to use it. Uh, more, I talked more about the technical side and uh, than the actual uh, how to use. So, anyway, uh, in front of me are two phones that Cafe Sync runs on currently. Uh, that is an Ubuntu Touch phone or Ubuntu phone, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, and this is an Android phone. Uh, I'll have the makes and models in the show notes for you if you want, or show notes, <laughs> the video, uh, the notes at the bottom. I already have Cafe Sync running on both of these guys, and I have a Wi Fi turned off at the moment. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you the difference between uh, the way it looks on Ubuntu as opposed to looking on Android at the present moment. As you see, there's really not much difference. Uh, now, there are also a, uh, the iPhone version I would show you, but I'm actually on an iPhone currently recording this video. Uh, but it basically looks the same too, just more iPhone at the top. Okay, so, uh, where's the effing power? Okay, there it is. All right. Uh, how to use it. So now both these uh, phones, uh, let's assume, let's uh, do a little role play here. Uh, the Samsung uh, Android phone walks into a cafe. That was its walking animation. Walking. Alright, it walks into a cafe and connects to the Wi-Fi there. Now, somebody, uh, now they've gone to this cafe numerous times so they already have uh, the code in their phone or whatever it happens to be if, if they do. Uh, now, let's assume also that they didn't actually have Cafe Sync already running. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, some fo uh, phone stuff. Uh, and then we'll open up Cafe Sync. Alright. And your. Uh oh. Okay, well, and you're done. So all these cards that you see now, well, now that it is connected to the Wi Fi, have shown up because uh, they all have. A IP address that is the same as the phone, or rather, they're sharing the same connection, or they have shared the connection in previous moments. So, as you saw before, it was completely empty. Now you have all these cards, and each of these cards represents a uh, a user uh, on the server that it also came into that location. So, of course, I, this has been my my house, really, instead of a. Uh, a uh, like a place of business, you see all my dev cards. So you see uh, like my little vague entertainment card. You see uh, so on and so forth. Uh, these would be there wouldn't be as many of them right off the bat as what you saw there. Uh, there would be far 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 fewer of them. Um, anyway, but so that that is basically how it works. Uh, this one over here is having a little bit of uh, trouble finding anybody, but that's okay. Um, just because I'm doing a video, I'm sure. All right, so if you go to, let's say you want to check out, oh, I don't know, um, who's this one? Okay, so Megan Wiley's card, it's kind of weird. Um, you want to look up Megan Wiley's card. Long pressing on the card will bring up a more detailed information about the, the user. Uh, give you the ability to call them, I'm going to get closer, call them, text them, email them, share it, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, add it to your saved areas or delete the card. Sliding to the right will show you uh, websites or uh, various online profiles that she might have various places. Now she doesn't actually have any of them that have a plug-in yet so that's not a very good example. Uh, let's go ahead and go to... Oh, well we'll just switch over. If you go to uh, up here in the upper right hand corner there is a a locations button. Hitting that locations button will switch it to uh, region and then also to um, global and we'll switch over to global here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and try to refresh this guy. Um, there it goes. Okay so th this is actually what it's uh, supposed to do so I don't know why this one grabbed all those cards and this one didn't but these cards are actually from this uh, machine here. So you see Eve's Garden and Bridgeport, uh, Bridgeport 
a guide service, which is actually Lake Bridgeport Guide Service, but it's just a really long title, and it's a bug that I'm, or it's a, yeah, a bug that I'm working out. Okay, so anyway, if you wanted to go to, say, Eves, and it'll give you different information, because this is actually on the device, and so you can change whether you want to share it, uh, which is basically, do I want other people to see my card when I connect places? Uh, do I want my contact information shared, which would be like your email address and your phone number? And then you have the swap button again, because uh, you need that kind of stuff. Uh, and then here is an actual Etsy page, what, uh, how an Etsy page renders out in Cafe Sync. We'll do it on the bigger screen because it's easier. Uh, and that kind of gives you an idea of uh, kind of what, it, what it's about. So now you can peruse their site without ever having to get like a business card and putting in their information. Uh, so that makes it just a little bit faster. Um, and then there's Global. All right, we won't waste time on those kind of stuff because we're already running at, at uh, nearly six minutes. All right, so uh, again, if you go to any of these cards, flip it over to this one, long press on it, long press on it, uh, circle around, and then there's uh, their only page that he has. Uh, he's a, a, a professional fisherman up in uh, Lake Bridgeport. You guys should check him out. He's really good. All right. So that's that. Uh, the menu button will let you select your different cards. As you can see, I don't have my first card configured, but I do have my second card configured. That's the Vague Entertainment one. Opening that up will give me the options like the other one had. And uh, that is uh, basically how you use it. Think of it as a way to share out your business card, whatever your business card might happen to be, uh, or other people's business cards when you connect to local Wi-Fi uh, wi connections or other things. Now. In the newest uh, version, which is not available on the Mac yet, or excuse me, the Mac, the iOS uh, platform yet, which is iPhones, iPads, so on and so forth, is the share button, but it's com coming up. It just takes a little bit longer to get uh, things on the App Store uh, on Apple because they make you go through a bunch of little hoops, uh, jump through a bunch of hoops, which is actually okay, uh, all things considered, because it does uh, mean better applications a lot of times. Um, but let's go ahead and pretend that... Uh, I want to share one of these cards to uh, share a card from this computer over to this one. Okay, so uh, let's do Decatur Public Library. I want to press on it. All right, and there it is. All right, now if I hit the share button or the swap button or whatever you want to call it, if you type that, it'll generate a code. Now these codes are one time or not necessarily one time, but uh, for all intents and, pur intents and purposes, it's a one time code. Uh, once that's generated, the other person can go to the menu, and down there in the lower right-hand corner, there's the same icon as you saw on, on that screen. Hitting that will open up a little box where you can put in the code. Uh, so we have uh, 182029, all right? Look the same, all right? Hitting uh, the check mark in the corner, we'll hit the check mark. Now, doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, big on, uh, apparently not big on uh, telling you that it worked. It just it'll tell you when it doesn't work, but it won't tell you when it does work. Uh, anyway, if you go over to the saved section now, any card that you send from one device to another is automatically put into saved, and this is great for when you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, but you both have data connections. Uh, you can share cards between each other without ever having to connect to any sort of Wi-Fi. And that's also good for security if people are like, oh, I don't like connecting to the Wi-Fi. It also gives you the ability to make sure the person that you are talking to actually gets your card and uh, has it saved so that it doesn't delete on you. So you actually had a real conversation with somebody from the Decatur Public Library, and you don't want them to uh, forget about you or you forget about them, and so that's kind of the way it goes. Now, uh, uh, as you can see, I kind of going to go through here. Uh, Decatur Public Library actually has quite a few uh, cards set up. So if I slide to the right, this is their web page. It doesn't show up very well, unfortunately. Uh, the Facebook is currently broken. What are you going to do? Uh, this is YouTube. Uh, you can see that over in the lower right-hand corner, or excuse me, left-hand corner, that is the service. Uh, this is just their YouTube channel and their videos on YouTube. Uh, this is their... Uh, Twitter page, as you can see, it's a really nice layout. You can see their latest tweet. You can also connect to the uh, to look more at their stuff down here at the bottom, uh, and that's I guess all that they have. Um, 
Anyway, so again, uh, now the Cuddy Republic Library is a location as opposed to a person that actually shares out a card. The locations are different because they are actual physical places, of course. And uh, so every time you go into the Decatur Public Library, you're guaranteed to get a card for the Decatur Public Library. Uh, all libraries and nonprofits should be free on the service. Um, but as time goes forward, if we add in more value add, we might uh, there might be some sort of charge, but it'll be mainly just to maintain uh, server functionality, I guess you could say. So anyway. That is how you basically use the program. Oh, and uh, I guess the one last thing, if you tap on Decatur Public Library, long press on it, and hit the plus button, uh, it will add it to your local save uh, as well. So you can, you can share the, the cards. You can, uh, again, long press, uh, generate a code. There's a new code. Oh, and then share it that way. Or you can... Um, uh, get them passively just by going into the areas and as long as you guys are both connected to the same Wi-Fi and as long as you guys are both sharing out your card you will get the card. Uh, it also works if you're not sharing your card but you want to share it to that one person uh, so it gives you a, a, just one more layer of security and privacy uh, along with all the other things that we do to, to try to keep you guys uh, safe from would-be stalkers and whatnot. Um, Again, one more time, let me go ahead and show, oh, hello. Uh, there's uh, Etsy, and this is uh, Suzanne Bunch. Uh, she lives out at Lake Bridgeport. Uh, and so that is, uh, she makes some really pretty things. You guys should check her out. Uh, and that is it. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. It went longer than I was expecting, but that's just the way it goes. Please like and subscribe to the Vague Entertainment channel, broadcasting uh, on YouTube. It's uh, pretty easy to find. Just look for us. Uh, like or uh, follow or share, uh, like, follow, whatever other things there are uh, with our uh, Facebook page, our Twitter, our Google Plus. If, if it's social, we probably are on it. We also have a website, www.vigentertainment.com. And thank you again, and hopefully this uh, is enlightening. Uh, Till next time.